It was my husband. It was my grandfather. My uncle. My grandpa. For me, it was my seven-year-old daughter. My uncle. My cousin. My grandmother. It was me. I was the one that had the cancer. I was diagnosed in April of uh, 2008. I had two surgeries, radiation, chemotherapy. The cancer was just growing. They had nothing left for me. So basically, what I'm hearing is, I'm done, I'm through. It seems like everyone is touched in some way by cancer. In Mr. Gobin's case, he had exhausted other types of therapy, but now we have another pillar of treatment called immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is a very different kind of cancer therapy, specifically helping to unleash the patient's own immune system to really do the work and to attack their cancer. So the idea behind modern immunotherapy is that there are cells in your body, the CD8 T cells, that are designed to kill other cells. The exciting recent discovery is the finding that there's a, a molecule called PD-1 on immune cells. The normal role of PD-1 is to prevent the immune system from getting out of hand and it accidentally damage your normal tissue. What's happened is tumors have figured out how to push this button, how to turn the T cells off. They do that by expressing the molecule called PDL1. Now the cancer is um, putting up these proteins that say stop. And so we need to come in with an antibody that inhibit them from interacting fully, allowing the immune cells that have come in to now kill the cancer. And if you block that interaction, in some patients, uh, you get these beautiful responses where the immune system can kill the tumor cell. So Mr. Gobin decided he wanted to be on a trial of a checkpoint inhibitor called the PD-1 antibody. By eight weeks, we were able to detect that his cancer had started shrinking, and then within six months, we were unable to tell that he even had cancer. It was three years and three months ago. Since then, it's not grown, it's not spread. So I get a funny feeling I'm gonna be here for a long time. What gets me up every morning is trying to make a difference for my patients. And now we actually have therapy that can work for a long period of time. It's just an amazing experience. I think I actually tend to dwell on the patients for whom we haven't made an impact. And I tend to think about what we can do for those patients. But, you know, if you had to list the cancers that immune uh, therapy will have an impact in in the next five to 10 years, I think it's frankly all of them. For the first time, I think the possibilities are really limitless. We've mined 5%, but we see that there's 95% that is now within reach. And the Bloomberg Kimmel Institute for Cancer Immunotherapy is going to step our efforts up by a quantum leap. I have always looked to invest in the best people at the best places, and immunotherapy is the cutting edge of cancer medicine, and I, along with the other cancer patients and survivors, have waited more than 20 years to see this day arrive. We're going to make an enormous difference in the future of the world. To end all cancers would rank among humanity's greatest achievements. And today, thanks to advances in technology, it is within our reach for the very first time. Together, we will harness the innate brilliance of the human body, the determination of patients and families, and the imagination of our scientists and clinicians to chart a course to cancer's ultimate end. Mark my words. Thank you very much.